Ikotas here, tasting its very first early spring pick of 2020. This is an eco-farmed four-season spring oolong tea uh, harvested in Songboling, Nanto County at the end of February, actually. Our friend scheduled his growing seasons to be able to harvest in very early spring and then harvest again before the weather gets too hot. So he'll be able to harvest a second spring crop at the end of April or so. So we brewed nine grams of uh, leaves uh, in 150 milliliters of water for one minute, and we brewed it three times. So this is the first, second, and third brew. And we let them cool down. I'm gonna get a whiff of the uh, brewed leaves here. Four season spring is incredibly floral, particularly in its aromatic notes. It's really amazing, it's quite heady. And there's enough oxidation to bring the uh, grassy notes down and I'm getting sweet, fruity notes as well. If you haven't, please uh, take advantage of what the leaves have to offer in their aromatic uh, profile. You really get a lot of appreciation. I'm getting chills just smelling this tea. Uh, very fresh, floral, uh, with a, a foresty uh, kind of uh, aspect to balance. I'm going to go for the first brew here. This is cooled down almost to room temperature now. Really nice. Uh, herbal? I'm not sure. Something greenish, uh, fresh. Almost minty. Very, very subtle spearmint and then a lot of floral uh, on the top of that. Very nice, delicate balance on the first brew. Second brew looks a little bit darker, a little more substantial. Looks like the leaves got to brew more fully. Yeah, much more, uh, much more fuller uh, profile, more vegetal base now. Uh, slight astringency to bring that kind of tang out, makes it pop a little more. Um, you have vegetal, uh, green leafy vegetable with a lot of floral uh, finish to it. Let's go for the third brew here. Third brew, maybe even the darkest out of the three. So it got darker as we went. Still quite transparent and bright on the spoon here. Hmm. Tastes like the second brew somehow brewed more strongly than both the first and the third. The third is a nice balance, a little kind of stronger uh, qualities of the first brew, just a little more intense, a little more fully brewed. They all uh, hold their composition quite well. I'm sure this could go, this is nine grams of tea brewed one minute each. I'm sure you can get a few more brews out of it, but I just wanted to take the first few. I'll run through them quickly. Yeah, light. It's not fully brewed yet for sure in comparison to these second and third brews, but you get some floral subtlety when you brew it lightly that some people, I'm sure a lot of people would really appreciate. Mm. Definitely more full balanced profile, uh, a lot more substance to the second brew than the first brew. But after you, the, the finish, the aftertaste is just filling my whole head with floral notes, really heady uh, in its floral character. Yeah, pretty much what I got on the first round. Uh, third brew being more like the first brew, but a little more substantial. Very nice balanced brew, very early spring, uh, eco-farmed four season spring oolong. Uh, check it out. Go to our website, ecocha.com. Click on the Eco Farmed uh, tab on the drop down menu and you'll find our teas that are sourced from certified organic farms. That's what the term Eco Farmed represents. Uh, we use that term to uh, designate teas that have been sourced from tea farms with organic certification. So check it out, ecocha.com. We'll see you for more spring picks real soon.